Honestly, it looks like March of 2020 when everybody was stockpiling and the shelves were bare. Much of nothing. <laughs> it's, it's like a Soviet store during uh, 1981. Horrible. Really, nothing in there. No meat, no juices, no orange juice, nothing. Everything, meat, egg, uh, dairy, certain breads were out, most vegetables, it was, it was all fresh items. I was uh, honestly astounded. I didn't hear anything about this on the news or anything, so I actually asked somebody else that was in there. I was like, is this something I'm, you know, I'm not missing that I didn't get the, the big memo on? And uh, uh, she said, no, it's like this. Every grocery store I've been to, it's been like this for a week. I've been to a few grocery stores for a few days, and a lot of the stores have been down like this. I think that we're about to have a food shortage. Everything's pretty empty. A lot of stuff going on, but it's like real empty in there. Even when I went to other stores, like, you know, me and my family went to the grocery stores, like, a lot of other stores are empty as well. There's not a lot. Um, pretty much all the produce is gone. Uh, there's maybe a few sauteed peppers. Uh, I think I saw some artichokes. That's about it. All, all, the, all the milk and all the uh, half and half is gone. Basically, anything that can expire or isn't shelf stable. Uh, I don't know when the last time it was here, but it's it's gone. It looks, you know, it's just empty shelves. Very little meat, and whatever meat in there is, like, super high priced. And then, um, extreme little produce. It's kind of scary. It's just domino effect. I mean, just complete total domino effect. You know, workers, supply chain, um, Omicron. <laughs> the Giants in D.C., majority of them like that. I don't know what's going on, you know, while all of it disappearing like that, all the food is groceries and stuff, but, uh, you need to do something about it. There was nothing. Um, thankfully, I also had a friend who came before me and said, don't even bother coming in. They don't have any trucks. Nobody's been able to get in what they need. It was uh, the emptiest I've ever seen at Trader Joe's. That's the kind of thing that happens these days. Whatever it is, I know they need to hurry up and get this straightened out because people be starving. They're going to be starving out here because they don't got nothing to know where to, uh, you know, where can they go ahead to get something to eat at? So, you know, it's going to get rough if we keep on continuing like that.